good morning. It is our first week in Pitigors. I woke up at 7 o'clock and uh, took Casper for a walk. The plan for the day is quite simple. Just do my work, have my lessons and walk with Casper. Nothing more because the weather today is very windy and very cold. I'm wearing a jacket and a sweater under. So I quite don't like the weather here today. But still, Pitigorsk is nice. I like it. time you look somewhere you, you see the mountains and the hills. It is uh, very unusual. You can right and you see the hills. You're looking left and you see the mountain called Mashuk. And it is everywhere and every time. down the hills, up and down, and that's again and again and again. And you can eat the fat food like uh, hachipuri, pizza, something like this, but you're not getting fat because you're walking more. This is what I was talking about. You don't want to meet these views, but you see them all the time. And this is the lowest panoramic point to see the center of the city. I'm saying lowest because uh, there are much more places to enjoy the landscapes. I like that this is the first days of November, but the city is still very green. I really like it. one and the only disadvantage of uh, living in Pitigorsk is that it is still Russia. If it wasn't Russia, I think it would be the best city in the world. And this is the street where we live. It's time to get some bread for the breakfast and go home. <laughs> they were very happy to see the dog and they were laughing and uh, saying like, oh my god, what is his name? They liked you! And they didn't call the security. <laughs> they liked you. So while we were walking, Ilya was cooking. Cooking? What is he cooking? Aha, uh -huh. mushrooms, um, small pizza, eggs, and I bought a bread. Today in Russia it is a national holiday called National Unity Day and as we are living right in the city center our windows are faced to the governmental building, to the building of uh, city administration. I can hear all the concert that is now outside. I can show you. you need just to open the window. The noise is very, very loud. I don't like it. And also I don't like this holiday because actually it's not a holiday, it's just a day off and that's all. Um, and so now we are going to visit this uh, event to show you how these national holidays are usually celebrated in Russia in a small city. Okay, let's see. What are they doing there? Wow. 
What do you think about that? I really don't understand what is going on there. Um, our holidays are not like this uh, all the time. Cringe. This is the installation of uh, the fights that were happening in Russia since its very, very beginning. Like you can see, this is the Napoleon. Now it's time to have my lessons. I'm an English tutor and I teach students and I teach English to the speakers of other languages. In my case, it's just to the speakers of Russian language. And so it's time to have lessons with them. And you see, this is our Halloween decorations. I like my background here, but I don't like the microwave. But still, I cannot find the place without microwave where I can put my decorations. The first we have emotional appeal. Do you know what is it? Appealing to the emotions. Fearing, what is it? Firing. What is labor? I don't know. What, what is this? It's an advertisement, I think. North Korea. <laughs> it's really close to this country. How can I know something? It's a totalitarian country. Okay. Hi, you are a fox. I know you are a fox. <laughs> <laughs> and this high mountain is uh, Elbrus. You know Elbrus, this is the highest mountain in Russia, uh, which is 5,600 meters high. You think that this is very small, but in fact, you need to drive uh, 200 kilometers to reach Elbrus. And this is another mountain that surrounds Pitygorsk called Bishtal. And this is Elbrus. And you know what? These are not clouds, actually. It is all the Caucasus. So we came home from work. I had dinner and now I'm going to work a bit. I need to check the homeworks of my students to send them feedback and to schedule uh, the next lessons with them and also I'm going to make this video for you. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting for you to see how we live in a small city called Pityborsk. Today we saw how beautiful the city is, we visited a very interesting but very strange event and also we had fun together, I think. So if it was interesting for you, please subscribe to my channel, put your fingers up, turn on the notifications to be the first who learns about my new videos. See you next time, goodbye.